Hello, Hash Graph Exchange community. This is Jim Gao from、uh, Team Hex. Today is May third, twenty twenty one, and、um, I'd like to discuss the topic of the future of money, the evolution of money. As we all know, that everything evolves,、uh, so does money. Let's take illumination for example. Thousands of years ago, people use tor torches and the fire. To light up their spaces, and that slowly evolved into、um, oil lamps and、uh, candles, and then the invention with of the、um, incandescent light bulbs, and that followed by halogen lights, and now we have LED lights. And in money's example,、uh, in the beginning, people were bartering, just trading,、uh, you know, my horse with your cow, my body with your rice. Uh, then people developed this medium of exchange that consists of、um, uh, items uh, such as feathers or seashells, and then gold and silver and copper served as this medium of exchange for thousands of years across many cultures、um, until it was, you know, replaced by by fiat currency, paper money, that was decreed by law or by governments. Um, that issue those currencies,、um, and from there on we developed payment systems like like personal checks for example and credit cards that operate on global scale that that consists of Bank of International Settlements that can settle accounts cross border from different countries, and the latest you know now we are entering this cashless payment、uh, consists of mobile. Payment systems like Apple Pay and Ali Pay and WeChat Pay.、Um, for example, when I was in Hangzhou in 2018 in China, even the beggars there they don't take cash. All of them they have this you know these QR codes, and you can just scan the QR codes and pay them directly using WeChat Pay or Ali Pay, and they get money that way. So it's it, China is entering a cashless society. You know, way ahead of、um, Western societies,、um, and it begs the question:、uh, Everyone is wondering, what is next for money? What's the next step of evolution?、Um, because people can tell, you know, a, a financial reset is coming. When you think about it, you know, for the past thirty years, everything was changed by the rise of internet and mobile internet. The only thing, the only sector that has not changed is the financial sector. Money has not changed, and the companies like Goldman Sachs and、uh, J.P. Morgan they're becoming as powerful as as ever. But people sense that it's really money's turn to be revolutionized by by the internet,、um, and we see that you know from the the Bitcoin bubble, the the blockchain bubble that we're experiencing right now.、Um, You know, we the world is demanding a decentralized digital currency.、Uh, of course, some people, especially the libertarians, they claim that gold and silver will make a comeback. But personally, I don't think that's going to be the case because I think gold and silver they have both served their purpose、um, in, in the monetary history. So, just like you know, in a blackout,、um, people might. Temporarily revert back to using candles、uh, and lamps, but not for long. You know, once everything is all settled, settled, people will, will resume. You know, using the mo the latest technology, the lights, the L LED lights in this case.、Um, same thing in a financial reset. Maybe temporarily during the chaos.、Uh, you know, when when let's say tomorrow. Uh, U.S. dollar is no longer the international reserve currency, and、uh, the whole financial system just goes into turmoil. Yes, maybe temporarily people will re revert back to using gold and silver, but a very very short of time. After the dust settles, settles、um, a supranational, decentralized digital digital currency will rise above the fray and become. The next de facto international reserve currency, and it's going to be tr transcending borders. It's not going to be controlled by a particular government、uh, or entity.、Uh, th that's why I, I don't believe that、uh, the the DCEP、um, 
you know, that's being pushed by China, the digital yuan is going to succeed because after all, it's still a digital, it's still a centralized currency and it's controlled by an authoritarian regime. And that's what the crypto world, I mean, the, you know, the world in general, you know, that does not want to have for a replacement of, of the dollar. Um, personally, I think, uh, you know, this digital stable coin um, with its supply being flexible and regulated by algorithm that's going to adjust the supply according to the demand and also the uh, economic activity that's happening on this decentralized network. I think this stable coin is going to be, um, you know, the replacement of the U.S. dollar. And uh, in my opinion, there's no place better to build such a stable coin than a hash graph. Um, you know, I, I, I think digital currencies will be the future, but it's not going to be Bitcoin or Ethereum simply because they have too much limitations to be a viable solution on a global scale. But hash graph with the speed, security, and um, governance, um, you know, it, it's the perfect platform to build an algorithmic digital decentralized currency. And we'll see in a couple of years whether that's the case or not. So that is my take on the future of money. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at myhex.io. And thank you so much for tuning in.